So this is a video we will be learning about periodic table. So I will start with explaining about groups and periods. So let us understand more about the periodic table. In a periodic table, elements are arranged in the increasing order of atomic number. We call it as Z. So let us learn first about the groups. Vertical columns in a periodic table are called groups and there are 8 A groups are named from 1A to 8A and there are 8B groups and we name them from 2B to 8B. For your reference, a periodic table is given on the side. You can uh, identify the groups uh, which I have just mentioned and some of the groups have some special name. Group 1 we call as alkali metals and group 2 we call as alkaline earth metals and group 7 is called as halogens and group 8 is called noble or inert gases and the horizontal rows we call them as periods and there are 7 periods in a periodic table. So now let us using, uh, using a periodic table predict the electronic configuration and the valence electrons for elements. So electronic configuration changes from NS1 to NS2, NP6 as we grow from group 1A to 8A. For example, consider the element lithium. Lithium belongs to gr uh, group 1 and period 2. Therefore, the electronic configuration of lithium will be 2S1. And uh, similarly, going to the other side, considering uh, neon, the electronic configuration will be N is 2 here. Therefore, it will be 2s2, 2p6. So, looking at the periodic table and knowing the group number and the period number, the electronic configuration can be predicted for the A groups. And the outermost electrons, we call them as valence electrons. Or, in other words, if it belongs to group 1, the number of valence electrons is 1. If it belongs to group 2, the 2a, I am talking about their group A's, it belongs to group 2A, the number of valence electrons is 2. And similarly, uh, going across the periodic table, if something belongs to group uh, 7, 7A, the number of valence electrons will be 7. And um, another thing which you can note from the periodic table is, elements that belong to the same group will have same number of valence electrons. Like fluorine, chlorine, bromine, ivory uh, will always have seven valence electrons because they belong to group 7 and they belong to the same group and as I just said group number represents the electrons for A group elements and uh, another important thing about this is every element loses or gains electrons to attain stable inert gas configuration that means group and elements it need to get the stable inert gas configuration so best way to get that is just lose one of the extra electrons it has and it will get the inert gas configuration. For example, a sodium uh, with an electronic configuration, the outer electronic configuration of 3s1 will lose that electron and get the electronic configuration of neon. And uh, if you go to the other side of the periodic table, elements like chlorine which has the outer electronic configuration of 3p5 will prefer to gain one electron instead of losing 5 electrons it's just not 5 it is 5 plus 2 7 electrons to get the uh, inert gas configuration so chlorine will get the inert gas configuration of argon so this is some of the basics of the periodic table we will go further and learn more about these things so let's just sum up whatever was mentioned earlier so the group 1a to 7a is mentioned here and the outer electronic configuration is S1, S2 and you can see that it goes up to S2, uh, P5. Depending on the period number, the uh, number will come before the S. And the number of electrons lost or gain are group 1A, 2A and 3A loses 1, 2 and 3 electrons respectively. But when you go to group 6A and 7A, they prefer to gain an electron. And uh, group 5A, because it is in the middle, 
it can either lose 5 electrons or it can gain 3 electrons. And group 4 being in exactly in the middle, to lose 4 electrons or to gain 4 electrons is difficult. So therefore, they generally share electrons. Now, b depending on the electrons lost or gain, we get the charge on the ion. Group 1, because it loses one electron, mentioned as negative 1, the charge on the ion will be positive 1. And similarly, group 2 will have a positive 2 charge on it, and group 3 will have positive 3 charge on it. And uh, the examples given over there, Na will be given as Na+, plus, magnesium as Ng2+, plus, and aluminum as Al3+. Plus. And considering group 6 and 7, because group 7 gains 2 electrons, it will get a negative 2 charge. And group uh, 7 gains 1 electron and will have a negative 1 charge. Example is Cl minus. And for group 6, a common example is O2 minus. In case of group 5a, we can have uh, different charges. It can change from minus 5 to positive 5. But I have given just two examples, uh, NH3, this nitrogen in this case has a charge of positive 3 and in N2O5 it's having a charge of negative 5. If I have given an example of nitrogen N2, the charge on the nitrogen is 0. And in the middle comes group 4, a 4A, the carbon group with the electronic configuration of S2P2. In this case, they do not share or gain electrons. They, uh, sorry, they do not lose or gain electrons. They simply share their electrons, and hence, I have not given a charge on on these elements. Answer the following. Refer to a periodic table. So, before answering this, go get a periodic table and keep it next to you. The number of valence electrons in indium. So, look at the group it belongs to. And we'll see that the number of valence electrons in indium is 3. The outer electronic configuration of calcium. Calcium belongs to group 2 and period 4, therefore 4s2. The group number of selenium is 6. It comes under the oxygen group. Group number 4, uh, question number 4. The charge on iodine ion. Iodine belongs, belongs to group 7. Therefore, it will gain 1 electron to give a charge of I minus. The number of electrons that cesium lose to become stable. Cesium belongs to group 1 and therefore it lose 1 electron to become stable. The electronic configuration that sulfur gets after gain of electron is of the inert gas argon. So when sulfur gets 2 electrons, it will get the inert gas configuration of argon. Then group 2 elements, we call them alkaline earth metals. Halogens refers to elements of which group? We know that halogens, group 7 elements are called as halogens.